Welcome to our course, of Advanced Steel 2019, Basic Level, for Designing and Detailing of Steel Structures. This time, we bring you a step-by-step -step course, for the designing and full detailing of steel structures. During this course, we'll begin by taking a first look at the interface of Advanced Steel, so we can get familiar with both the scope and design capabilities of this program. Nonetheless, and since this is essentially a design and drafting program, we will also observe how to support our designs, through a structural analysis solution. Since this will permit us to fully trust our design decisions, concerning the structure. Now and for this course our main goal, will be the development of a structure such as this, and which may represent that of a storehouse or similar. Nonetheless, and beyond taking care of its designing we should be able of producing the full detail drawings of the structure. For instance, and beginning by the design of the frames. These should present the full detail of all the necessary connections. As an example, let's have a closer look at the connection between the column and the beam. As we can see, this connection, displays all its proper parts. Such as the bolts, the plate, and the haunch. Now moving to the element of the rafter. Here we find the connection pertaining to the apex, and which is composed by a group of bolts, and a single plate. And so, it's from these fully detailed components, that we could produce the respective detail drawings. And thus, begin fabricating these in the shop. For instance, and for this particular structure, we can already produce all the proper detail drawings of this beam and which will display from the detail of the section, to the position of the holes. Now concerning these detail drawings, one of the main features of Advanced Steel, is that this program, will take care of the generation of these. For instance, here we can see the detail drawing of one of the rafters in the frame, and which again, was generated by the program, and not by the user performing each of the drawings. Moreover, and as we can see, this drawing, presents all the necessary dimensions and labels for correctly identifying each part. From the dimensions of the section, to the position of the holes. As an example, here we've the view of the connection of the apex. And in which we can see the dimensions pertaining to both the plate, and the position of the holes. So, and again, this particular view or detail drawing, was produced from the design of this connection. Nonetheless, and by having a second look at this drawing, we can see that its primary focus is this beam. And which besides of being highlighted in the drawing, it's also displaying all its proper dimensions. Including that pertaining to the type of section being used. And in addition, we can see the detail, of how's that the connection with the next beam is going to be performed. Details that of course, will permit us to properly assembly these beams. And which again, were generated from the design of this connection. Although and as we've just mentioned, this drawing pertains to the details of this particular beam. And let's emphasize, that all these drawings were generated not by us, but by advanced steel itself. Being that in these drawings, we can see both the frontal and elevation view of both this beam and its surrounding parts. And so, it's in this way in which we could obtain the detail drawings of every single beam, connection, and multiple parts composing the structure. For instance, in this following drawing we can see the details pertaining to the column of the frame, and in which we find the detail of the connection too. Being that this shows all the proper dimensions for the position of both the plate and the holes. And just as a reminder, all these views and details, were solely produced from the design of this component. And of course, is through this mechanism, that we have also obtained the main drawing of the frame. Although this only displays the overall design of the connections. And so, how to produce this type of detailed drawings for a given structure will be one of the main subjects of this course. Nonetheless, and as we mentioned before, and beyond the mere design of the connections, we'll concern about supporting these designs, on actual data from the analysis of the stresses present in the structure. Namely, that will seek to support every design decision, such as the number and particular disposition of the bolts, on data coming from the structural analysis of this frame. Since and let's emphasize, 
Once the structure is manufactured and mounted on site, all the connections and steel members should be able of dealing with the multiple stresses and forces to which the structure will be subjected. And thus, how we design each connection becomes crucial for counting with a safe structure. So, and for this purpose, we'll take a look at the analysis program known as Robot Structural Analysis Professional. Namely, that is through this program that will perform the analysis of the structure and hence obtain the precise value of the multiple internal forces present in each of the connections as an example in this connection there's multiple forces and stresses being produced from those caused from the dead load of the structure to those pertaining to the moving load of working personnel and even those which may be produced from the load of the wind thus counting with the values of all these forces becomes very important for determining the proper and safe design of each of these connections. And so, this program will take care of analyzing these loads and resultant stresses, and hence providing such values. Being that for this purpose, this will begin by analyzing these columns and beams, before the design loads and loads combinations. And once this has found that these components are safe and sufficient, it will permit us to continue with the designing of the connections. For instance, here we can see the design proposed by the program for the connection in the apex of the frame, and which was produced as the result of the analysis of the multiple loads and forces present in the structure. Moreover, the program has concluded that this design is perfectly within the defined safety coefficients. As an example, in this calculation report, we can find the loads existing in the related beams. Specifically, those pertaining to the bending moment and axial force, both of which we can also find if we simply request the resultant internal forces present in the connection, or again, the bending moment, shear, and axial force. For instance, we can see that for this particular connection, we don't have a significant shear force, but instead we have a more important bending moment of minus 14.3 kN. And in addition, an axial force of minus 4.87 kN. So, these values or internal forces are exactly what we should use in advanced steel for performing the validation of the connections designs. As an example, and back in advanced steel, we're using the values found for these internal forces for performing the validation of the connection pertaining to the apex of the frame. Moreover, and once the validation has been performed, we can request the proper report. And in which for example, we can see both the specs of the connection, and the verification conditions pertaining to each of its parts. Such as those of the bolts. And which again, and according to this report, have been correctly met. Finding in addition, the appropriate moment and stiffness diagrams. And so, it's through all these information, that we could ensure that the design of this particular connection, meets both the design needs and specifications of the design code. So, and as you may assume, this particular mechanism, will permit us to obtain a fully verified design for the structure. Thus going from a simple drafting program, to a highly valuable instrument for the designing and subsequent manufacturing of steel structures. Since and let's emphasize, every single decision regarding the design of the connections, from the amount and disposition of the bolts, to the thickness of the plates and type of stiffeners, will be supported by the analysis of forces and stresses present across the structure, and which this last simultaneously, comply with the defined design code and safety coefficients. So, and during this step-by-step -step course, and while we perform the design of the structure, we'll take care that every aspect of the connections, gets properly verified, in relation to the provided internal forces and thus, obtain a safe structure, that comply with all the specifications given by the design code. And from the design obtained as a result of this, request all the necessary detail drawings. Drawings which again, will be automatically generated by the program. Thus turning what used to be hours of drafting and detailing, in nothing but minutes. So, and beyond drafting and design, during this step-by-step -step course, we'll focus in two main aspects. The first of this, is that we'll work with a structure, 
whose design has been properly analyzed according to specific design codes and regulations, proven to be capable of dealing with the design loads and resultant stresses. Moreover, the design of the connections, between each of the steel members, will also be determined from these analyses of forces and stresses. Being that every single feature of these connections, will be verified against the resultant internal forces. So, and once we have achieved this design, we'll replicate and subsequently detail this, inside advanced steel. Thus obtaining in a seemingly automatic way, all the necessary detail drawings for manufacturing the structure in the shop. So, all these aspects, will be widely covered in this step-by-step -step course, of Advanced Steel 2019, basic level, for designing and detailing of steel structures. Moreover, and through our support center, you'll count with the assistance of experts while you study and practice, so you can apply your new skills to your own projects without limits. See you soon.